Hockey is a difficult sport to pick up. To play, you have to learn how to skate. Now imagine hitting the ice for the first time and having to do it with your eyes closed. That's what the participants of blind hockey face every session on the rink. NSW's Charlie Edward has the story. This feature is brought to you by Country Financial and your Naperville Financial Representative, Jaime Zavala. These hockey players can't see, but they can hear. And thanks to these pucks, Hockey for the Blind is on the rise. I'm on the USA Hockey Disabled section and Hockey Canada approached USA Hockey to see if we would be interested in starting blind hockey in the United States. We didn't know if there would be enough interest, and there is. Human senses are extraordinary, and the specialized pucks make that ever clear. They're proportionally the same size as a typical puck, but they're made out of black sheet metal. Each puck is individually made, and it has about a spoonful of ball bearings in it that are a little bit larger than BBs that make a sound when it's in motion. I tried it at the other event, their first event with a little puck, but I could not do anything with it. Um, and then with this puck, I can hear it, so I can locate it easily. Solomon Chaudhry has retinous pigmentosa, but also has experience with just about every sport. But I've done like rugby, I've done some football, soccer, um, and basketball. He says he loves to challenge himself, and his coaches, including former Red Hawks hockey player John Sobieski, help provide that challenge. It's harder for them to grasp because they can't necessarily see you doing it and uh, how you do it, so just words and touch and everything. But they do grasp it despite every painful fall, and in doing so, fill their lives with brilliant color. For NSW, I'm Charlie Evans. 